What's going on everybody? This is Delman here with uh, Guardians of Gotham giving you a uh, quick tutorial for the D-pad uh, down menu. And here's my character Delman sitting on top of some house in Chinatown. If you press down on your D-pad you get these two menus, Can Chat Emote. Uh, can Chat, it is basically um, it's automated chat. When you click on it, it'll tell you, it'll just come up in the chat box so everybody can see who's in range for the say. Um, and here you just just picks random things they're separated into categories um, it's basically the same thing as hitting select and type it in something and uh, hitting start um, if you hit select you bring up this quick little chat menu this is what it is uh, triangle maximizes your chat screen and minimizes it so you can see like some backlog of chat uh, let's see what else is going on here oh uh, if you tap square you'll change what uh, what part of chat you're in Say you want to ch chat to group only, you can go to group only, or you can uh, hit shout and go to shout only. Um, if you hold square, you get that little menu and you can tap up and down on it and you can go to different things. When you hit X on it, it brings up the keyboard. Unless you have your own keyboard, and then you can just start typing like crazy. I think you have to hit enter and then just start typing and then enter again and it'll type. Um, what's the next thing? Emotes. Uh, these are what your things do. See me? I'm kind of like doing a little dance here. I just clicked on watch. Somebody was like, watch! And, uh, let's see. Let's go down to rest. I like the resting pose my dude does. My, my preview is going a little bit slow here, so I can't tell if it's going to be that way in the final video. But uh, I know I go to sleep. And I pick something else here. I forgot which one. I'm kind of like recording over what I recorded. Like... <laughs> a while ago, so you have to forgive me if I'm not completely on the ball. <coughs> Bring it. Uh, everybody's favorite, the strong. I think I'll find it right here. Good old fashioned level up. Next we're going to get into the up D-pad menu. This is where you go to turn off your uh, turn off lots of things and turn on lots of things. You can switch your role and do what you need to do to get yourself straightened away. Uh, if you click up on the D-pad menu, right here, sometimes it takes a little while. You have switch role, take screenshot, toggle PvP, activate dual mode, ignore dual invites. Every once in a while you'll have on the very top um, a group loot or open on duty menu. If you scroll over down I'll show you your current powers that you have selected on your power bar. It'll have your current effects that you're in right now. Like, say, if you're uh, stunned, it'll show you you're stunned. If you ever go into that in the middle of the battle and die. Um, right here, I'm going to switch role. If you see, uh, I used to have, see how it comes up with the healer icon? That's because my alternate role for my class, for my person, is a healer. Everybody can be damaged, and that's the fire symbol. Everybody, Every power has the damage ability, and then e the other powers have... Uh, different abilities, healer, tank, controller. Right there I just took a screenshot, it saves right to your PS3 and your photos album or something else. You can toggle PvP on. Uh, I don't, don't remember if I do it here, I probably don't because I don't want to get into a fight in the middle of uh, doing the video here, but it puts a little, uh, there's a little flag that comes out right next to your name with a skull on it, right next to your health bar and stuff. Um, you can activate your dual mode and ignore your dual invite. So here I activate my dual mode you see I have the little icon over my head, that means I'm ready to duel. All somebody has to do is come up to me and hold circle and go bow and we'll start fighting. It'll, it'll, it'll say like so and so has invited you to a duel or something. And I always just turn off the ig uh, ignore duel, I always put the ignore duel invites on because basically a lot of people will go around and spam you invites even if you don't have your duel mode on. Um, this is your friends list. You can see nearby, those other people are nearby me. I can duel them, I can inspect them. Uh, when you inspect, you get pretty much the list of their gear, what their character's name is, what their PlayStation name is, if they're in a league. Um, next, we're going to get into the left D pad menu still. Why is that coming back up? Oh, yeah, left D pad menu. I'll just keep going. I'll just keep talking. Fuck it. Left D pad menu. Since I just kind of like half did it there, I'm going to do it here some more. Um, basically, you have nearby friends, league, group, bases, ignored, your recent text, your recent voice, your current voice channel. 
Uh, recent text is basically in the text box if somebody types up. That's there. Nearby is like anybody within like a couple city blocks. You can see them in your list. Now this person is like right next to me down like down below me. You can't see them, but I can go into and inspect them. And I think this person's only like a level five because it's like the level five area. You can see she's only wearing uh, a weapon in a soda. So she's level five. You can see her PlayStation Network name. Um, you can see like the league name if they have one. I forgot what else. I think that's all you can see. Yeah, you can see the level, their name, their league name, their PlayStation Network name. There goes a hill and villain running right behind me. But here, there you can see a geared villain. You can see what kind of gear they're wearing, and if you have their style collected or not. Um, let's see what else. The friends list. Here we get into the, all your giant friends list. Mine's massively like a billion players, just because I keep adding people to my list. Um, you you have a pretty basic menu when you when you click over. Like if you go left and right, you can basically go through these menus a little quicker than just hitting X and circle. Um, add new player. Uh, you just type in the name, no big deal, enter, and it'll say, this is going to say player not found because this player doesn't exist, but if I wanted to add Supergirl X that just pop popped up there, I'll just you know, type in her name like that, or I can just go to recent text, find her name, and then go to her name on the menu and hit add player. It's actually pretty easy to get through. That's league management. Um, you guys can do this too. Um, I have you guys set up for... Um, for, for <coughs> um, invites, so if you need to invite anybody, that's how you do it. Um, this right here, this is just league management. You don't even need to worry about that. That's just uh, where I go to change the names of the ranks and I change the thing. Bases right here, this is the fun part. This is uh, These guys are two of my friends. They have bases in Gotham, or where I'm at, Metropolis. And I could just click on bases, click to their name, and show entrances. And then I could probably, f I might be able to find their can't remember if I found their entrances on the map, or if I just didn't care. I honestly I can't remember because I was just playing around. But there you can see all the little white dots are, are uh, doors you can walk into, I think. And all the greenhouses are your your bases. Um, all the all the red oh, ones are rally points. But uh, it, I think. I can't remember what else I do in here. Looks like I'll open the menu a couple more times. Um, your ignore list. You can just add people to your ignore list. You don't. I don't think you can get group invites from them, and I don't think you can see their text. Um, recent text. These are all the people that are in the recent text box. And like I said, from there you can add people to your friends list or whatnot. Um, current voice channel. It just it'll show you who's at your current voice channel, who you're talking to right now. Um, recent voice channel in case somebody left and you don't want to know who you're talking to. There you go. I think none. So, hope you guys got a good kick out of this and uh, hope this helps out with some D pad menus. Hope you guys enjoy.